People in 2020 will have to vote at. I call the Honourable Calvin Davis. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And unfortunately, the last 10 minutes are 10 minutes of my life I can't reclaim. Oh. But there was a speech spoken by somebody who's never, ever been out, outside of his little Epsom bubble and actually seen the hardship, the, uh, the lack of housing, the homelessness, the poverty in the areas such as Tai Tukaro that I represent. But, oh, Madam Calvin. Speaker, you know Let me just problem, start eh? by acknowledging the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister for her bold vision, her bold vision for housing, her bold vision for health, her bold vision for education, her bold vision for children, her bold vision for people. And as my colleague Grant Robertson ended off his budget speech by saying, and this is a budget for people, and I hear, I hear the opposition over there upset that they're still not on this side. What they don't realise is that the majority of New Zealanders actually abandoned what they stand for, Madam Speaker. But let me, under, let me just acknowledge Grant Robertson, the Minister of Finance, for his hard work in de delivering a budget that brings this government's vision to life. And I just want to acknowledge also on this side of the House all of our MPs across the coalition government, our confidence and supply partners, but also my fellow Māori ministers and our Māori MPs from our party, from the Green Party, from New Zealand First. This budget is proof that when you have strong Māori representation across the board and in every corner of government and parliament, you can do great things for our people. I, I do like we to do are, great things, but please don't bring me into them. Uh, we are bringing positive, stable and energetic uh, uh, governments. We are laying the foundations for the future. And as the uh, uh, Deputy Prime Minister said, we are having to patch up nine years of woeful neglect. And it was only when we were going through this budget process that we saw the extent of the neglect in the health system, in the education system. And you don't have to drive far around New Zealand, sorry, Madam Speaker, not you, but we don't have to drive very far around New Zealand to see the woeful housing and homelessness situation. This budget 2018 delivers for Māori. It delivers on the promises made by our Prime Minister at both Waitangi and at Ratana. And if there's an enduring image from Waitangi, it is the image of the Prime Minister leaning over a hot barbecue, serving the people. And it's about time we had a Prime Minister that actually served the people and not just their own self-interest. She promised that this government would be a caring government, a government that put people at the centre and a government that would introduce this uniquely Māori concept of manaakitanga. In other words, compassion. Compassion for the people, regardless of who they are and where they live. This is a budget for everybody. Nine years of neglect by the previous national government has come across in housing in education, in health care, and it has hurt our people the most. And I'm proud to stand here and say that Budget 2018 is where we start to bring Manaki Tanga back to the government. <laughs> so this budget delivers for Fano and our Tamariki. Now, one of the most enduring uh, messages that the Prime Minister said is we could have, we could have made the political decision to hold off our families package, $5.5 billion worth of spending until today, so we could have this big burst. But what was more important to our Prime Minister and more important to our Finance Minister is that we deliver that families package of $5.5 billion worth of spending as soon as we possibly could, so that our people didn't have to wait just for, a political, for us to get a political hit, but we had to deliver for them when they needed it. The families package, $5.5 billion for Māori, contributes $1.2 billion for Māori. That's over four years. It's to help whānau through 
uh, with accommodation supplements, it's to help with the, the winter energy payments. Now, we all know, especially those of us on our side of the house, we all know Komatu and Kuya who, who struggle with the heating. We, we, know, we know those Komatu and Kuya who would prefer to switch off the, the heater and go to bed about six o'clock in the evening rather than endure the shame of not being able to pay their power bills. We know on this side, because we're connected to our people, the people on the other side would not have a clue because they are out of touch. The, the uh, Families Package boosts working for families. It's, uh, it's created the best start payment. The Families Package will, will help over 181,000 Māori children living in poverty, and we are extremely proud of that. It's going to help over 12,000 Māori that are estimated to be living in severe housing deprivation. We also acknowledge the many Komatu and Kuya who are actually proxy parents for their grandchildren. Now, I experienced this and saw this as a principal up in the far north. The grandparents uh, who are, and I hear over here them sighing because they don't have any idea about how people are affected around the country. And that's a shame on those people over there who are sighing and making out like it's not an issue because it is an issue. It's a very real issue to people. So grandparents who are having to act as parents, but they never ever got funded to help with, uh, with the needs of their children. So Budget 2018 provides $104.9 million of operating funds over four years for clothing allowances for children supported by the Orphans Allowance and Unsupported Child's Benefit. We know about half of these carers are our people. They are Māori. And as we know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs says if you don't have air, if you, don't have oxygen, if you don't have water, if you don't have food, if you don't have clothing and warmth, you are not able to reach your full potential. This budget shows we care about the future of our rangatahi. We're investing $14 million into enhancing education employment out and employment outcomes for rangatahi. We have said as a government, we want to do things differently. The new approach is an example of how we're using new and innovative ways to support rangatahi across the education and employment pathway. The, this fund targets rangatahi who are most disengaged by supporting them, those aged between 15 and 24 that aren't in education, employment or training. We're taking a whānau-centred and community-led approach which will bring together an all-encompassing support ne network for the rangatahi to, to achieve their aspirations. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Speaker, <coughs> Ed, Mr. Speaker, I'm really proud to be delivering uh, for Māori education needs. So we have three uh, uh, initiatives that are going to help Māori uh, education. The first is Te Ahu o Te Reo Māori, which is fulfilling our promise to Fulfilling our, fulfilling our promise, Mr. Bennett, that me whakarongo koe ki a mōhi ai koe taku kōrero. <coughs> it's fulfilling our promise to integrate te reo Māori into the curriculum by 2025. That's $11.4 million that will go. It will help teachers uh, on, online, online support. It will help with teacher, uh, te reo Māori teacher networks. It will help gu uh, del deliver guidelines and uh, uh, resources for teaching. We're going to have... Uh, uh, a big education event uh, for uh, te reo, teachers who wish to speak Te Reo Māori, we are, we are delivering for our people there. And then, of course, there's Te Kawa Matakura, something totally new, something totally unique in New Zealand, where for the first time we are going to develop a uniquely Māori qualification that, will, uh, that, that uh, measures Māori uh, Matauranga Māori achievement and Matauranga Māori because at the moment our Māori, we, we want our, our young people to be able to achieve success as Māori. Now how does saying I've got NCA alone deliver that? So we're delivering uh, a uniquely Māori 
qualification that's going to help and help Māori to achieve as Māori. And we'd really like the opposition to get on board with this new, uh, uh, th this new qualification because all they've done in the past is ram uh, unwanted reforms down our, the, our educational throats. The national standards was a failure. Of their time, and the members' thank time you, Madam has Speaker. expired. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Judith oh, Collins. Oh, Madam Speaker, thank goodness that's finished. Oh, wasn't it dire?